throughout this year, we are come to say thank you for those victories that you have given unto us, those that we have seen. We want to say thank you for the testimonies amongst us. Thank you for the for the covenant of life. We want to say thank you especially for that testimony that we had today for preserving the life of this young one. We want to appreciate you even for the victories, for the, for the success you have given. Father, we are just so thankful please receive our thanksgiving oh god in the mighty name of jesus i'm going to read psalms 100 he says make a joyful shout to the lord all you lands serve the lord with gladness come before his presence with singing know that the lord he is god it is he who has made us and not we ourselves we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise be thankful to him and bless his name for the lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Father, we bless your name tonight. We have come and enter into your court, Lord, with thanksgiving. Father, we have come with grateful heart, with art of worship, with our song. Father, with a heart of gratitude, please accept us tonight for all that you have done through 2021. Victories you have given unto us, we have come to say thank you. Blessed be your holy name the lover of our soul our faithful father let's just bless his name let's tell him who he has been to us since the beginning of this year even through our journey through our lives our god has been faithful a dependable father covenant keeping god we just want to bless your holy name blessed be your name father on this last tuesday in the year 2021 we have come as your children to raise an altar of worship father we have come to declare and say either so you have helped us be thou exalted please take all the glory take all the honor your servants you are going to use tonight we pray for fresh grace fresh unction upon his life father thank you for the strength you have given unto him and all through this year oh god and for all our brethren as we come to fellowship tonight in raising up our voices unto you. Father, let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, we have worship. Amen. Most blessed, most glorious, the patience of days, almighty, victorious, thy great name, we praise most blessed most blessed most glorious the patient all days almighty victorious thy great name we pray almighty victorious the lord only wise in life in accessible it from our side most blessed most glorious the Haitian of days almighty victorious thy great name we praise praise the lord father tonight we're entering into your gate with thanksgiving and into your court with praise blessed be your name lord in jesus name we worship amen thank you jesus eh? the lover of my soul Alpha and Omega, you are worthy to be praised. 
in our generation there is no one like you alpha and omega you are worthy to be praised thank you thank you jesus the lover of my soul alpha and omega you are worthy to be praised in our generation there is no one like you alpha and omega you are worthy to be praised thank you thank you jesus the honor of my life alpha and omega you are worthy to be praised in all generation there is no one like you alpha and omega you are worthy to be praised we praise you lord we praise you lord we praise you jehovah almighty we praise you lord we praise you lord we praise you jehovah almighty hallelujah we praise you lord we praise you lord we praise you, Jehovah Almighty. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Jehovah Rom. Ayo, 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 Jehovah Alagbara. I Lua, I I Jehovah Hala, we praise you, we praise you, Lord, we praise you, Lord, we praise you, Jehovah Almighty, we praise you, Lord, we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jehovah Almighty. Come and see, oh, come and see. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, come and see, oh, come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. Is this marvelous? In a sign, come and see what the Lord has done. He is marvelous in a sign. Hallelujah. Come and see, oh, come and see in a life in 2021. Come and see, come and see what the Lord has done. It is marvelous in a sign. Come and see what the Lord has done. It is Marvelous in a sign. so she my amilenu, Baba. On so she my amilenu, Jesus, Baba no mi jewanu. O second waderio. On te she my awalenu, Baba. Hallelujah. On te she my amilenu. Oh, yamilenu. On te she my amilenu. Lenu Jesu Baba no mi jewanu Baba se kuwa de rio on te she maya walenu o ya walenu on te she maya walenu in twenty twenty one on te she maya walenu Baba Baba no mi jewanu o wa se kuwa de rio. On te she maya walenu baba ei no pe ei ni ei ni ye ei ni ei ni baba ei lo pe wa ye o olorun wa olorun ha yo ei lo pe ye ei lo pe ye ei ei ni ei ni Baba, I want to pray. Hey, no pray, oh, oh, Lord, 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 oh, 
your name tonight we are so grateful because you are a good good father thank you for sparing every life in 3pg ministry our families the leader of this team is family every of our children for the victories you have given unto us and we have come to say through the difficult time 2021 you have kept us you are good to us please receive our thanksgiving lord in jesus mighty name we have worshiped amen praise the lord praise the living jesus we are going to take our hymn it's been shared on the page praise him praise him jesus our blessed redeemer amen praise him praise him jesus our blessed redeemer 
ma sing ye sing is wonderful love proclaim el him el him mightiest angels in glory strength hand honor give to his holy name like a shepherd jesus we feed this people in his arms he carries them all the long oh ye saints that live in the light of his presence praise him praise him ever in joyful song and praise him praise him jesus our blessed redeemer for our sins he suffered and bled and died he our rock our hope of eternal salvation hail him hail him jesus the crucified loving savior meekly enduring sorrow crown with thorns that cruelly pierced his brow once for us rejected despised and forsaken prince of glory ever triumphant now he prince of glory ever triumphant now Praise Him, praise Him, Jesus our blessed Redeemer, heavenly portal, loud and hosanna ring, Jesus, Savior, reign forever and ever, crown Him, crown Him. Prophet and priest and king, that is vanquish. Tell it with joy, ye faithful. Where is now thy victory, boasting great? Jesus leaves no longer thy portals are chilled. Jesus leaves the mighty and strong to save. Amen. Amen. God bless you, man. I just need our voice and worship in this hour. Let's give him praise. Let's give him honor. If I should borrow the word of my sister. He said, We that he has kept, we are here to worship him. Just said, I think because I know you have kept me. We that he has preserved in the light of his presence, we are here to magnify him. If not for the light of his presence, not for the light of his goodness, we will have remained in darkness. But his light kept us going. Even when we, we slide into darkness, even when we slide into sin, slide into sin, the light of his presence draws back to himself. And the light of his presence always keeps us in him. And that's why we are here tonight, giving glory, give praise his name, praise him, praise him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. We that he has kept. We are here to worship him. We that he has kept, we are here to praise him. We that he has kept, we are here to magnify him. We that he has preserved to this time, we are here to worship him. We that he has, he has made to be alive, 
to this very hour we are here to say thank you oh please go ahead and worship him pressing 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 for his faithfulness for his loveliness and for his kindness pressing for every good thing wonderful thing marvelous thing he has done in our life with the course of the year please worship him magnify him exalt him thank him thank him thank him because you are alive thank him because you are well it is those that has kept alive that are worshiping now it is a living that we praise him only the living the living shall praise the lord please worship him please praise him please give him glory because only the living will glorify him please glorify him please praise him praise him praise him jesus uh blessed redeemer he kept us this far he preserved us this far he helped us this far oh looking behind the year it as if it began just yesterday and it kept us we hear of so many news we hear of so many bad news but the lord kept us going please worship him please magnify him please appreciate him please thank him please tell him how grateful you are tell him you are very grateful to be seen this time of the year please magnify him and exalt his name thank you for wonderful testimonies that we have had on the group. Thank you for the testimony, big, big testimony in your own personal life. Thank him and worship him. Thank you for testimony over your life. Oh, testimony as parent over the children. Testimony as grandparent over the, the one that God has blessed you with. Magnify and exalt his name. Please worship him. Please magnify him. Please give him praise. Open your mouth and praise him. Please open your mouth and worship him. And give him the glory, give him the glory, give him the glory. Only him desire to be worshipped. Only him desire to be praised. Only him desire to be honored. Why are we here today if not for him? This will go now. If not for him, just three, four days to go in the year. We are still alive, hale and healthy. We are alive and we are well. Please worship him. Please worship him. Please magnify him. The defender or the defenseless, magnify him. The help or the helpless, give him the glory. The one that can keep alive, worship him. The one that can preserve, give him honor. Look back to your life this year. He has given you so many testimony. Please magnify him. Please exhort him for testimony of being alive. Oh, there are times we feel sick, but he heal us. There are times we are down, but he helped us. Many people have had similar weakness or sicknesses, and they never survived. Father, we say thank you. 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 You are worthy to be praised. Glory to your name forever. Glory to your name forever. Glory to your name forever. We are very grateful. Daddy, we are very grateful. Daddy, we are very grateful. Daddy, we are very grateful. We are very grateful. Please thank him. Thank him for the gift of life. Thank him for the privilege of being alive. Thank him. Oh, thank him. The days we are sick, he hear you intervene. The day you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, even when you don't know it, he was right there by your side. Oh, he said, even when we walk in the valley of shadow of death, we fear no evil. You have no evil because God was here. Oh, several near death experiences. You have several reasons to be involved in terrible accidents, but God spared you, He kept you. Please worship Him. Let us magnify Him, let us exalt His name. Let us magnify Him, let us exalt His name. Our God is good, He is good, He is so kind. He is so good to us. He is so kind to us. Say, Daddy, I thank you. You are good to me. Oh, you are kind to me. You are good to me. You are kind to me. Despite me, you are good to me. You are kind to me. You forgive my sins. You forgive my iniquity. You pardon my sin. You pardon my iniquity. That day, you are good to me. Almighty Father, I say thank you. Please worship him. Please worship him. This God is good. This God is good. He is so good to be magnified. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Please worship him. It's good to me. It's kind towards me. He is so beautiful towards me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You preserve my home. You preserve my family. I can look behind the year and I can see how you have brought us this far. Thank you, Father. 
Oh, like that, my sister said, we that are alive, we came, we come to worship you. Oh, we that are alive, we come to worship you. Those of us that we are still healed and healthy, we come to worship you. Those of us that you are forgiving and you are pardoned and you have healed, we come to worship you. Those of us that you have been our God and you have blessed us with plenty of grace, we come to worship you. Those of us that you have blessed so much with mighty grace, blessed, blessed grace, and great grace, we have come to worship you. Those of us that are blessed so much in every way, by your grace alone, we have come to say thank you. Please thank you. If you have a part of those people that are going to ask it, please thank you. If you have enjoyed grace this year, please thank you. If I enjoy his mercy this year, please thank him. If God has not visited you according to your own way in sinfulness, please thank him. If his mercy has spared you this year, please thank him. Oh, if God has not thrown your prayer back to you and you pray and he threw it back to you and say, I don't want your prayer offering. I don't want to listen to your prayer. God did not throw your prayer back to you. Please worship him. Oh, God answer your prayers. Please worship him. God did not throw your prayer back to you this year. Please worship him. If you have prayed and you have received answer, please magnify him. Oh, those of us that prayed and we have received answer this year, let's worship our God that answer our prayers. He is indeed a praying answering God. Thank him, thank him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are praying answering God. We worship you. Thank you because indeed you have answered our prayer this year. We have seen your hands in our lives. We have seen your hands in our life that we are even alive now to pray at this moment is a testimony of your goodness to us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please worship Him. Please worship Him. Worship Him for the country where He has put you. If you are in Nigeria, please go for it for, for Nigeria. If you are in the UK or in some other country, worship God for where God has put you. That he didn't allow the enemy to prosper in your land. He preserved the land. He kept us in peace. There is no war. There is no calamity. There is no noise of war from distant land in your hearing. Thank God for that. Oh, wherever your relatives are, and your member of your families are, there is no noise of war, no noise of pestilence clearing the ground in that area. Please worship him, magnify him, and exalt him. Giving glory, giving glory, magnify him, exalt his holy name. Thank him and worship him. Thank him and worship him. Thank him and worship him. Our God is good. Our God is good. Thank him for every child he has given to you. Mention them by their name for the progress they have made this year. I am very sure one or two or all of the children has made progress this year. They move from one class to another class. They move from one age to another age. All the children celebrated birthday this year. Praise God for all of them. Thank God for the birthday. Thank God for promotion in the exam. Thank God for successes. Thank God for what God is doing in the life of the children. Thank you. Say that thank you very much. For mercy, I thank you. For hallelujah, I thank you. For what you are doing in the life of the children, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for wonderful things you are doing for marvelous thing you are doing in our life, in the life of our children. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In our personal life too, thank you. You did allow us to be stricken down with sickness that cannot be healed. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. We are not victim of the pandemic. Thank you, Father. Oh, in a year of pandemic and we are still alive. Thank you, Father, because we are intervening on our behalf always Spirit, say thank you oh thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit we are very grateful 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 blessed be your name blessed be your name blessed be your name you are so good you are so kind to us thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit Thank you for every month of the year. Oh, you went ahead of us. You tabernacled with us in the last month. You kept us throughout the year. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for victory seen and victory unseen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for every victory we knew about and the victory we had also particularly know about. Thank you for all of them. Thank you for our spouses. Thank you for our married men and women. Thank you for our unmarried men and women, the youth. 
thank you for all of our lives. Daddy, we are very grateful. Daddy, we are very grateful. Daddy, we are very grateful. We appreciate you. Thank you for your affection towards us. Oh, your affectionate love towards us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. You are so good, so kind to us. Oh, mighty God. You are so good. You are so kind. Oh, mighty God. You are so good. So kind to us, Almighty God. You are so good. You are so kind, Almighty God. You are so good. You are so kind to me, Almighty God. You are so good. You are so kind, Almighty God. Father, we can't thank you enough. You are too good to us. Oh, thank you, Father. If you have to be acting based on our faithfulness, by now we are all gone. But despite our faithfulness, you remain faithful. You can never deny yourself. Thank you for covenant. Thank you for grace. Thank you for promises. Thank you for all that we have experienced this year. Oh, you've been our God in days of battle. You are God in days of peace. You stood by our side in days our strength we are small. Even when we are strong in strength, it is still your strength we are strong, strong in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is your light that gave us life. And the light that you gave us, we have light. And the light shines in our path, and darkness couldn't comprehend it. It is in that light we are alive. It is in that light you are secured. It is in that light darkness couldn't overcome us. It is in that light, even when we walk in the shadow of darkness, you help us, you brought us out, and you preserve our life. Amen. Thank you for every of the children you are given to us. Thank you for our married men and women. Thank you for our aged men. In a year, someone losing their own, you are keep, you kept our own alive. Thank you for our children. Thank you for the beauty and the joy we are having in you. Thank you for your faithfulness, for many testimony, on number, on counted number of testimony, shared and unshared. Thank you for babies we had this year. Thank you for pregnancy. Thank you for many good things and wonderful things you are doing in our life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are so grateful. We are so happy. We are so blessed because you remain, you stand as God in our life. Blessed be your holy name. That we say, blessed be your holy name. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy of our thanksgiving. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, oh what the tower, what they important to worship with. You have a thousand tongues, it's never enough to thank for what you have done in our life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We say we bring our blessing unto you, and we declare, we say as a group, amen to you alone. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You kept us, you preserve us, and you helped us. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Every Tuesday that this you get at your feet. And we are always blessed. There's never a time we came and we threw us out and we went back without blessing. It has been you all the way. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Father. We say, Blessed be your name. We ascribe all the glory to your name. We ascribe all the honor to your name. And most importantly, thank you for this month in the way you chose to tabernacle with us. We ask you in the first three days of the month that the Lord be tabernacle with us. And is that that you did? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Beginning from this morning again, for the last three days, we ask you again to go ahead of us to the new year as we began, as we begin a new journey. Thank you because you are set already. Oh, thank you because you are set already. You are not only set to make us end this year successfully, you are set again to take us to a new one ahead of us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We know you didn't bring all this far to disgrace us. We know you didn't bring all this part to throw a prayer back to us. You are here. You brought all this far that you might glorify yourself in our life. Thank you for every answer prayers. The lost, the lost child was returned home. The prayer we pray was answered. The sick was healed. The admission that we have trouble and worried about, we gave it to us on many occasions. Oh, our children on campuses, goodness from them. 
our children in bunny houses, good news from them. Our children in this school that goes home and come back every day, good news from them. Our spouses and our our relatives, good news from them. In our tabernacle, that's been good news all the way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We appreciate you and we honor you. For the rest of the year, Sarah, we see pray. In mercy we ask, please have mercy upon us. At that thing we have done or we are doing that is may say, I brought you this far, I'm not going again. Father, your mercy, please have mercy upon us. Amen. Have mercy upon us. Amen. If we did have mercy upon us, the one we say you are not able to take all this far, you always brought all this far to disgrace us. And that is not your intention. Father, please, in your mercy, have mercy upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we finish the year strong. Amen. We finish the year strong. Amen. We finish the year heavier than we began. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I must thank you as a person and as a leader and as a group. We thank you for healing of last week. Last week we had news about two, three brethren or so. We are down. But at this moment, they are all okay already. Thank you because we will feel your word that we end this year healthy. Thank you because you said it and you are doing it. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. You that have kept us healthy this far, we will end the years healthier than we began in the mighty name of Jesus. I dare see sickness anywhere. I dare see pain anywhere. I dare see a place where you definitely see locking and see hiding in the corner and tormenting a life or so, or anyone, and now, either now, or even the next two days or three days that remaining. Father, we ask your name that you may raise the standard against such and subdue every power of the wicked and put head in the life of your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Shine your light upon us. Let there be healing. Let there be head. Let there be life. Let there be light in our path in the mighty name of Jesus. By the year, the time the year we end, which I'll, of course will glorify your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. God bless you. Thank for coming for this prayer. It's the last night of, uh, of, of our covenant hour in the year. The last to this wonderful to be praised. May his name be glorified forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. By the time he began the beginning, the next night VG to be in the big event. And it's beginning, I think, next this Sunday is coming, and to be a new year entirely. To be a year of amen. Lord, as sure that this year is a, a coming year, is a year of amen, yes. and to be a wonderful year in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you don't know that song, yeah, go and learn it. Amen is my palm. Amen is my song. With amen, I give victory in prayer. Amen is my soul. Amen. Amen is my power. Amen is my song. With amen, I give victory in prayer. Amen is my soul. Amen. Amen is my power. Amen is my song. With a man, I go victory prayer. Amen is my soul. Whenever I say amen, in the name above all names, demon tremble and God is glorified. Amen is my stay. Oh, I know you are sitting with me already. Whenever I say amen, in the name above all names, Demons tremble, God is glorified. Amen, he is my stay. Oh, whenever I say amen, in the name above all names, demons tremble, and God is glorified. Amen, he is my stay. Amen, amen, he is my power. Amen, he is my song. With a man, I go victory in prayer. Amen, he is my sword. That will be a lot in the new year in Jesus' name. It's a wonderful prayer. It's a wonderful song. Please know it. That is the song God gave us for the coming year. I'm going to sing that song practically the whole year. And every word, every statement, every line of those words of that song, we have a meaning in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This coming year, it may be different in our life. Amen. If we say it may practically all our life, but year 2022, it will be with a different understanding, a different wisdom, a different uh, action, and it will bring a different sense, a different 
uh, answers to our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say a good amen. amen. Say a bigger amen. amen in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I want to thank every one of us for being part of our life as a family, myself, my wife, and the family. We say thank you for being part of our life. And for being part of the ministry, we express our thanksgiving for you being there every night like this. If you are not there, there will not be prayers. But successfully, we have a part of it throughout the Tuesday of the year. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I trust God for you, and I keep trusting God for you. I keep praying for you, and I will never stop doing that. And I know every of your prayers, every of your desire, heaven, we answer them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So thank for being there, for your support, for your love, for your deep affection and unparalleled commitment for every part, everything you have been part of this ministry in giving, in paying tight, in support, in attending program like this, in saying, Pastor, how are you? God bless you. In any way, in any form, you have done that. God bless you and God honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I must confess, I'm, I'm happy to be part of the meeting, to be part of this family. I feel love every time I hear from you. God bless you and God will honor you. I've tried to say hi to everyone, as many I can say to in this course of Christmas. If I've not called you, and they sent text to you to say happy Christmas and God bless you. It is not intentional, just that the, the list is long. Please bear with me, I beg of you, please bear with me. And for this, I say Merry Christmas, that is, that is just gone, and a Happy New Year in advance in Jesus' name. Amen. You will see more of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So I want to also say, please, in this uh, short holiday that remain, take care of your children. Watch over them, don't just let them, let them lose small opportunity like this can make and it can make a big um, mistake in the life of a child this small order like this can may or can mark can mark a life permanently if we are not very careful so i want to beg of you be very very careful don't just allow the children to watch any channel at we as we said a prayer like this a period Friday during celebration like this sunny during uh, festivity during holiday when everybody is happy and there is so much program going on here and there parents are busy and children are too on their own relaxing during holiday it has been noticed that at people like that most parents lack parental guidance and and uh, and uh, so and uh, the nursery uh, parental guide that are nursery for children especially in watching films and therefore please be careful what you allow your children to be exposed to. It has been noticed that one of the ways that the, the children get introduced into immorality and bad behavior is by sitting there in the hand of the parent one, or by witnessing the parent doing it one or two, or by seeing them on movies, especially movies that contain adult scenes. Let us be careful in what our children are seeing during these holidays. Somebody said during the holiday period, major majority of children watch films in the morning instead of uh, getting involved in things that are profitable for their life or they just say uh, either morning afternoon evening all day just film and tv usually for those that have access to electricity continually parents should get, get the children and find something meaningful for them to do so that they won't get involved and uh, initially in things that are not uh, profitable for their life and two please watch between your children say they're my children they are sibling nothing's happening be very careful Men and boys and girls, even when they are siblings, be at a lot and be watching what is going on in your family. May we now wake up and see things that are the enemy has taken over our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say the enemy will not take over your children in Jesus' name. Amen. So please be at a lot and watch over them. God bless our home and bless our families in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. To name of God's grace, we are beginning introduction to what God is ready to do in our life. In the coming year of Amen, and uh, tonight we are discussing Amen, a covenant agreement. Amen, a covenant agreement. We all know what a covenant is, and we all know a, a, an, what an agreement is. They're practically the same thing, but a little different. Now, when you say a covenant agreement, for example, let me say it this way: If um, uh, you you are involved in 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 a, in a partnership in the business forever, and the business Let's say you and Mr. A and Mr. B agree to be doing business. And say we have an agreement now. We're doing business. You bring 30 naira 
I to her bring 30 naira and that, that and two of, of her money will be doing business together. They agree, that's, a, that's an agreement, a partnership. But we can become a covenant agreement when something more enter into it. For example, they can say, well, let us make an oath or let us do some, a kind of a ritual agreement to say, I will not betray this partnership. You two will not betray this partnership. And they go ahead more than just ordinary agreement most people will do. They become a covenant. Like a man will meet a woman and say, I love you. And both of them say, me too, I love you. Just an agreement. We agree to be uh, friends into a relationship. And before you know it, one day the man will say, I want to go beyond that. Just make a covenant. We go to the altar or we go to the, our parents and we make an arrangement and we make a covenant. Say, I do. You two will say, I do. It becomes a covenant and agreement. A covenant agreement means something deeper is involved. A deeper, a kind of ritual is involved. A kind of uh, uh, understanding is involved. That go beyond just words of agreement. Just beyond just me, people coming together. It's now deeper. God is involved, and the uh, witnesses are involved. It become a covenant relationship. God called Abraham. Say, go to a place I will show you, and be living there. And see, and there will make you a big nation. I will do this. I will do that. And Abraham agree with God. And we say, I will go. That was an agreement. But it became a covenant at the point when God said, go and circumcise. Call the foreskin of the every male in your house and yourself. And let that be an, a sign and a token, a covenant between me and you. That as a matter of fact, any male in your lineage that refuse to circumcise will be cut off. We will accounted to be an obstinate, a disobedient, and be destroyed. But as none as men that have that covenant relationship with me, the agreement I have with you now, you also prosper in their life. He say who that bless Abraham, I will bless. He that cause Abraham, I will cause. And he give Abraham so many promises, which are like agreement between the two of them. But that was sealed at the point where Abraham caught the first king, his own first king. And the first king of every with his children and all the servant male in his house. Oh, Jesus came and said, Father, I will go to them. I will preach to them. I will tell them of your love. I will open their eyes to the kingdom of God that is coming. He said, From the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffering loss and the uh, violent and the violent take it by force. He came to Espache to tell us about what we don't know in the kingdom. He said, You have not been there before. I've been there. I came from there. And I'm going back to the place I've been with the father. And he told us so many things about his father and about his kingdom. And by those, we agree with him that, okay, I want to be part of that kingdom. But to see the agreement, he went to the cross and he gave his life. And that become a covenant agreement. And the same thing now, this month of uh, this year, 2022, beginning for tonight by God's grace. God is having a covenant agreement with us with amen in the blood of his son. That we don't just amen as an answer to prayers, that is good. We don't just say amen because somebody is praying, that is nice. But now we are saying amen with a different understanding that when I say amen and I'm agreeing with, a, with, with what I've been said or what I've been written or with what I've been declared or with what I've been promises, promise i'm saying amen to it but not just in agreement alone but as a covenant agreement is sealed and certain in the blood of jesus and then you say amen to that in that understanding it brings about a different you the heavens know something has taken place oh somebody might say i say god bless you you say amen maybe two people say amen to that please listen very carefully because it's very important this might be the best foundation we have for this entire coming year. If you miss this, you may miss all. So please listen carefully. Oh, two people come to church or come to prayer meeting like this. And the pastor pray. And I say, God bless you. And everybody say, Amen. But that blessing may not actually abide on everyone that say Amen. There's one that say Amen because a prayer was heard. He does not even understand what the prayer means. But the one that say Amen because he knew that statement that had been made. Is immediately it is said, it's not just an agreement. There is a blood, a seed that stamp it. 
and become a covenant agreement. And because a covenant agreement is certain and is done in the blood of Jesus Christ, it cannot be reversed. It becomes like the law of the passion and the medis that cannot change. They told the man, why do you call the king of the Jews withdrawed? The man said, what I've written? I've written. It is too late now to change it. It simply means when I say God bless you and you say amen, and later you realize you say, what that man said, I don't like that kind of a blessing. I want to change it. I want to say amen now, and it will say the covenant agreement. It is too late to withdraw. Even the man that bless you and say, I said this man, Jacob said, I'm Isaac Jacob King. He took the blessing by by by, by lies and by deception. And when Esau came and said, My father, I'm here with something. And the man said, I brought somebody came already against your brother. And has taken the blessing, and now he has been blessed. It cannot be reversed because that blessing comes with a covenant. The covenant of Abraham was on the blessing that Isaac gave. All night it could have been reversed. If I pray to you and I say, God bless you, and on my own I say, uh, What should I be blessed? The I will draw my blessing from you. But if it's a covenant blessing, a covenant agreement, once it is pronounced, it is too late. To be withdrawn. That's the difference. So two people came to the blessed meeting, and both of them say amen. But one say amen with understanding that this is a covenant blessing. And once that understanding is there, it's a different thing in the spiritual and in heavens before angels and demons to this man that had understanding and the one that doesn't have that understanding. And it's okay, my father, please help me. Please, I beg of you, is there no one remaining? And the man said, nothing's remaining again. I have given him. It cannot be withdrawn. A blessing, it will be blessed above you. Because it's a covenant blessing in the Abrahamic covenant. Covenant agreement that the seed, it can never be reversed. And that's understanding we are going to in the new year when you say amen. We are going to be say amen because we are agreeing with what has been said. Or we are agreeing with what has been written. Or we are agreed that have been confessed, we are agreed that have been declared, we are in a covenant agreement. Because that this once it is pronounced, once it's gone now, gone out, it cannot be reversed again. The blood of Jesus Christ stamp it. As a group, there are times we go to offices to go and do things. For example, of late, God bless that my sister that helped us with that one. We apply for what they call a school certificate in uh, EFCC. Every corporate organization, church, companies must have it before you can operate a bank account. When we have to open our bank account, we are asked to do it. We applied and they opened account, a bank account for us for the for the term application we submitted. For the father we applied and they applied us, the bank opened an account for us. And but for a long time we couldn't assess that thing until God used one of our members to reach somebody on our behalf. And the person was able to step in and the thing came out. And there are letters I need to write to give to those people and say this application, or they will say, go and bring this in your letter heading. We will take it to them. But each time I take the letter to them, I will write letter based on what they want. They will read through it. They will say, I will not agree with this one. Go and write it again. And I will come home. I will write it. And they say, yes, what you have written now, we agree with you. Bring letter. But letter will not be accepted until we put the seal of the ministry on it. And they too will now give us a, an acknowledged paper, an acknowledged, acknowledged um, copy, until they, too, they put the seal of ESC on it that we have applied and we have been answered. And this is the evidence that this and this has been done. A seal must be on it. The paper I wrote, the letter I wrote, even though they have agreed what I have written, will be, it's useless until there's a seal of the ministry on it. And my two, I mean, I will not receive a copy from them. It is of no use to them, to me, that I've applied until there's a seal of the auntie or unto on it. And that's how it is in prayer now. When we say amen, the seal of the covenant in the blood of Jesus Christ is sealing that thing. And once it is sealed, it is too late to reverse. Or the person may realize and say, I don't mean to bless this person. No, oh, I don't like his face. I don't like her. She's too arrogant. She doesn't like my sermon. And now I pronounce the blessing and she has said, Amen. And she and say, Madam or my brother, that blessing is not for you. 
I want to withdraw it, but now it is too late. It has been it's a covenant agreement that is seen in the blood of Jesus Christ. That is the type of agreement the law is having with us in the coming year. When we say amen, it is different now from the way we say amen all our lives. In first in second Corinthians 1, verse 20, let us establish this description. Second Corinthians 1 verse 20 please if you have your bible open with me if you are not just listening by all this advice advice that you come with your bible when you are coming to a prayer like this second corinthians 1 verse 20 there are several scriptures now let me pick that one for you for now the bible say for all the promises of god all the agreement we have in god the lord say in blessing and bless you is an agreement the lord say you will be the head another day it's an agreement the Lord say, none of your fruits will be withered. None of our fruits will, will, will not lose your young. It's an agreement. The Lord say, don't be, be courageous. Do not be afraid. As I was with Moses and the men of old, I will be with you. It's an agreement. It's a, it's a promise that me and you agree to. And say in him, all the promises of God, in him they are yea, and in him they are amen. They will interpret yea or yes there. In the original Hebrew word, actually me, amen. It simply means the promise of God, the covenant of God, all the agreement of God. They become effective. They become stamped. They become realizable. They become what we can experience as soon as they are in Christ Jesus. The hymn that's talking to Jesus Christ, that in the promise of God, in Jesus Christ, they are amen and they are amen. Double C, they cannot be Reverse. So when you are saying, man, you are started saying, I see this thing, brother Jesus Christ. You are started saying, I invite Jesus Christ because he said that is his name. Amen. Me, Jesus, amen is one of the Jesus' name. When you say amen to a prayer, you are actually sealing the prayer. You are saying, in Jesus' name, I bless you. So you say amen. You are say, in Jesus' name again. Because Jesus' name means amen. That's his name. So when you say amen, you are sealing him with his name. You are sealing him with a covenant in his blood. In him is amen. In him are ye, in the word of God, the promise of God, the covenant of God. In him are ye, are amen. And in him are amen. Double amen. Unto the glory of God by us. That's the understanding we are doing. We are going to 22 with. It's a different understanding entirely. It's an, a covenant agreement between me and you and between us and God. It means when I bless you and I say amen. When I bless you and you say amen, you are covenanting in agreement in the blood of Jesus Christ that what I just said, it is so, and it shall be so, it cannot be reversed. I don't have to like it. Once they say, when I've said amen, it is done. Or oh, when you bless me and say, I bless you, Kenny, oh, God bless you. Or oh, Pastor, God bless you. Once you say that, even if, we don't, if, we, even if your mind don't mean it, it doesn't matter now. But when I say amen to it, what I've been said, and I've said amen, we understand that I'm sealing this the blood of Jesus Christ in the covenant agreement with him in his name, in his name, in his amen. Then what you said, as you said it, it is done. And that's why I'm very careful to pray. I say amen to. I must listen carefully. I must read the line very well and understand the prayer first before I say amen. Because when I say amen, understanding of a covenant blessing, it might not be reversible. It might not be reversible unless I have to go and be begging and be begging, and that may be take a longer time. So be very careful the kind of prayer you send to. Not everything they send to you on WhatsApp, on social media, without any of them, just because you see a prayer there in Jesus' name, you say amen. No, be very careful what you say amen to henceforth, because amen simply means we are sealing this with a covenant agreement, Jesus Christ in his blood, and because in him, every a word of God. A yea and amen. And if you believe this, if after this understanding, if you stay by this understanding, then this coming year is a year for me and you. I thought you say amen. Amen. So please, I thank for the, for your will for me. Thank you because amen will work for me differently this coming year. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's a year of amen. Thank you because it's my hand now at the stamps. That once I say amen, I stamp with the brother of Jesus Christ. Once I say amen, I stamp with the seal of his name. Once I say amen, I see the prayer. It cannot be reversed. Once I say amen, I say I'm covenanting, I'm agreeing with you 
with the covenant agreement that cannot be reversed. Once it has been said, or once it has been written, it is written, it cannot be reversed again because I've already said amen to it. Oh, thank you, Father, because this is be true for me in the mighty name of Jesus. In the new year, no demon can reverse my blessing. No demon can deny me of answer to prayers. No power of darkness can deny me, can delay me of the answer I need to prayer. Because when I say amen, it becomes irreversible. No demon, no devil can, can, can delay or can hinder me from having the answer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And that's why we declare that in the coming year, amen shall work for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen shall work for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it's different now. Every amen, I will say, in the year 2022, it shall be by covenant agreement in God in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, every amen, I will declare in the next coming year, they are sealed and they are declared and are covenanted in the blood of Jesus Christ. Therefore, amen shall work for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, amen shall work for me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We may not understand that prayer, but I pray God will give understanding in Jesus' name. If all the prayer that have prayed this year, 2021, and you have said amen to them, if all of them have come to pass in your life, I have a a fear understanding that our life be better than what it is now. If all the prayer that have been prayed this year by my friends to me, or by, my, by pastors to me, by minister to me, by prayer that have been sent my way, and I've said amen to them consciously or not, if all are found fulfillment, my life will be much better than it is now. I know why many of them are found fulfillment, because when we say amen, we are naturally in agreement. We don't understand what it means said. We just say amen without a proper, a thorough agreement in our heart. And amen me, I agreed. Amen me, I'm a consonant with it. Amen me, what you have said, I perfectly agree with you. I sign into it. Amen me, as you have declared, it doesn't matter that you say it with a good intention or not, but as you have declared, so it shall be. Oh, it, it, Isaac was practically being deceived. And he said, I give you this blessing. By the time he realized it, it was too late. He said, I bless him. It cannot be reversed. Oh, some men came to meet Joshua and they disguided as if they are coming from far distances. And they are one of those men that God said they should destroy and they should not have agreement with them. But they came, they deceived them, they betrayed them, they made them to, they lured them, they, they gave them false impression. And Joshua signed an agreement with them in the name of Jehovah. And suddenly later they realized these people were just our neighbor, one of those people that we ought to have destroyed and we should destroy. And they said, Joshua said, You deceive us, we will kill of you, we destroy you. God said, If you do it, I will fight with you seriously. You ought to have investigated very well before signing it. Now you have signing, you have signed a covenant agreement with them in my name. You call me a witness to it, and a witness between you, the two of you, and therefore you can no longer destroy them. What you have done cannot be reversed. You have agreed with it. Many prayers we said this year, many prayers we have said to this year, never find fulfillment because in our spirit, actually, we are we didn't actually agree. Our mouth may say amen. Our body may say amen, but in the spirit, our amen was not totally acknowledged because it was not a covenant amen. But this coming year will be different. Amen. I said this coming year will be different. Amen. When you say amen, this coming year you are seen with the covenant agreement. Amen. So much that even when later I say, ah, this blessing is not for you, it can't be reversed again. It is certain, it is done, it is sealed in the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's why I say again in the coming this year, 2022, beginning from now, even amen will work for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Say to yourself, amen will work for me in the mighty name of Jesus. From now and forth, amen shall work for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen shall work for me in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall work for me, for the children, for the family. When I bless my children and they say amen, it is done. When I bless my home and my family, my wife and the children, and they say, Amen, it is done. 
when I pray in, my, in, in, the, in the morning devotion and I declare for my family and they say, Amen, it is certain, it is done, not reversible in the mighty name of Jesus. When I'm on the road and driving or in my bedroom or anywhere I am, and I declare a prayer on the behalf of my children, once it's declared, it cannot be reversed because I see with Amen in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen is my fire. Amen is my stone. With amen, I go between him prayer. Amen is my sworn. Whenever I say amen, in the name above all name, demonstrate when God is glorified. Amen is my stay. That is where the problem is. The devil, they know when you understand this, what we are saying, this amen, we have understanding of amen as we are saying it now. They tremble when you say amen because they know that once they see the brother of Jesus Christ, it cannot be troubled. But I possibly let them have trouble me for I bear my body, the mark of Jesus Christ. Once my prayer is sealed with amen and with the knowledge that is sealed in the brother of Jesus Christ, it cannot be troubled, not by any demons. Not by anyone. But apostle, what I've said, when any demon come, an angel come, I want to reverse it. Let him be a cause. Because what we have said cannot be reversed. And that's why when you say amen with understanding, they tremble and God is glorified. And there's no way you say amen with that kind of understanding that you will not have the answer that you desire. With amen, I have victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Shall give me victory in the coming in this for nine spot. I will have victory. I will see victory with Amen. The mighty name of Jesus. For nine four, I will see victory and I will have victory with Amen. The mighty name of Jesus. I no longer say Amen. Why my spirit? I'm not agreeing. But when I say Amen this time around, I'm saying Amen because I agree with it. I'm saying Amen because I say the Lord Jesus Christ, and therefore I shall have victory in the mighty name of Jesus. When I say men fault, I say men because I totally agree. I'm saying men because I'm covenanting in agreement in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. You see me because you are sitting, bro, just guy. You just are saying when I say just name, I pray to that prayer I prayed. It's like saying I take this time and I soak it in, bro, just cry and I seal it. That's amen. It can't be reversed again. Because now a covenant is involved, not just an agreement, now a covenant agreement in the blood of Jesus Christ. Because in him, all the promises of God, all the, all the covenant of God, all the blessings that God can ever give to man, in him they are amen, and in him they are amen. They cannot be reversed. Once I say that, nothing can reverse it. And that's why I pray this prayer. Please pray with me that from now and forth, I will not say amen in vain again. My amen will not be in vain again. From now and forth, when I say amen, it shall, it shall, it shall happen. No more in vain, the mighty name of Jesus. I will not say amen in vain because when I, at one night, my amen carry power. My amen carry grace. My make carry ability to say fulfill in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not say amen even in the mighty name of Jesus. When I say amen, my amen carry power. My amen carry the ability to be self fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. My amen carry power. My amen carry ability to self in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Go back to Isaac. The same thing happened to Moses when he declared punishment of Israel. But let's talk with Isaac first. When Isaac blessed uh, Jacob and he pronounced all the blessing on him and he said all he could say on him. And the man just went out. The thing become a covenant agreement between himself and Isaac. And between Jacob and Isaac and God, the three of them are there now. It become a covenant agreement based on the covenant God has with Abraham. It becomes something that cannot be reversed. It's no longer in vain. Then it receives the ability. Immediately, Jacob say amen to this prayer. And the see in the covenant God has with Abraham, it received the ability to be self-fulfilled. It simply means from that time and for Jacob don't need to pray on what as it 
said he just didn't have to take God remember what to told Isaac. Remember what Isaac declared I was going to remember what Isaac said about me. He doesn't need to pray those prayers again. And I hardly see anywhere again the scripture where Jacob reminded God what Isaac said. Those still have immediate ability to be self-fulfilled because now they are seen in blood. It's a covenant agreement between Isaac, between God and Isaac and Jacob. They have the ability to be self-fulfilled. And that's where this thing comes in. Once we have, when we say amen to a prayer, in the understanding that is seen in the covenant that is in the blood of Jesus Christ, that immediately that prayer goes out and amen seal it. It receives the ability to be self fulfilled. It may go, it may go far, but for sure it will come back to fulfillment. The Bible says, as the rain comes from heaven to the earth and never goes back until it's fulfilled, that which is sent to an earth. So my wash and not fall without fulfilling the purpose for which he sent. He made the letter what he said, and we agree and we say amen. I say, God bless you, for example. I say, God bless you. You agree, you say amen, and you say amen because you see the blood of Jesus Christ. Immediately, that word has ability to be self-fulfilled. And that's why I say again this year, 2022, beginning from now and henceforth, my amen carry power in the mighty name of Jesus. I won't say amen in vain. Oh, when I pray for my children, it is certain to be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. When I pray for my children or for myself, for my family member, when I pray, I know the prayer is, is fulfilled itself. It cannot be reversed. It retains ability to be self-fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. My prayer will carry power in the mighty name of Jesus. My prayer shall not lack power. They carry power to be self-fulfilled. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. He said, We are two or three are gathered, I will be there in their midst. He said, Lo, I am with you always. You don't need to pray it. If those power, those words cannot be revived, they are still in his blood. You pray it or not, it is certain they will fulfill. Lo, I am with you always. As long as you are in his will, you are doing his will. He said, Lo, I am with you always. It cannot be reversed. They are still in his blood. You don't need to pray. God, you say, you blow, you'll, be, you'll be with me. Oh, please, with me. it is certain. We are two or three are gathered there. I'm in their midst. You don't need to pray about it. Once you gather in his name, it's there. You don't need to pray. God, you say, we are two or three are gathered. You are in their midst. Then come to our midst. That's a waste of prayer. You don't need to pray it. It is still in his blood. It cannot be reversed. Once you gather in his name, it's there in your midst. You have it certain. Those words have ability to be self-fulfilled because they have power in the mighty name of Jesus. My amen shall not be weak. My amen shall not be impotent and ineffective in the mighty name of Jesus. But when I say amen, it shall be with strength in the mighty name of Jesus. When I say amen, it shall be effective. The Bible says the fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. When I say amen, my prayer will be availed in the mighty name of Jesus. When I say amen, my prayer will be effective. When I say amen, demons will tremble and God will glorify in the mighty name of Jesus. Then next forth, my prayer, my amen will not be weak. Oh, blessing my children. And they say amen, it is certain in Jesus' mighty name. Or when I bless them and I say amen myself, it is done in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, it is effective, it is certain in Jesus' mighty name. My amen will not be weak. I shall not be weak in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 When you say amen, with this understanding I'm giving you now, you say amen from your heart, with the purpose and with the mind that you see, brother Jesus Christ, you call heaven attention to it. The most tremble, God is glorified. And when God is glorified, heaven pay attention. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw men to myself. You don't need to pray about it, it's done. The certain is just lift him up, glorify him, do what pleases him. He will draw men to himself. If a man will praise the Lord, he will make even his enemy to be at peace with him. Those work cannot be changed. They are certain. Once they are declared and in agreement, in true agreement in the spirit, 
not just saying it in your mouth, in your heart, in your spirit, you say amen with the understanding that this, is, this prayer is done in the blood of Jesus Christ, satin and sealed. Then it calls heaven's attention. It calls heaven attention. Immediately you say it, heaven pay attention. And the Bible says, God said, my spirit will wash over it to fulfill it. He said, my spirit, it may be delayed. It may go far. But I tell you, the Lord said, my spirit will wash over it. So if it is right upon the table, that he that read it may run with it. Because when it has gone out and it is sealed in the covenant, in the blood of Jesus Christ, my spirit, the Lord says, shall wash over it to fulfill it. Because when it is certain and is covenanted in agreement with Jesus Christ and is saying to it, heaven attention is on it. And I will pray, Lord, should pray this prayer. Every prayer I've prayed, or that will be, be prayed for me, and I've agreed as amen to it. And till now, they're not finding fulfillment. I command heaven attention upon them now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command heaven attention upon them now. In the mighty name of Jesus, He said, No shall be burned in my house. He said, I shall fulfill my days. He said, I will be up and up alone and not beneath. He said, No weapon fashion, this shall prosper. He said, There's no divination, no enchantment against you. Say, come. All the world has said amen to this year 2021. And that is struggling and not finding full met yet. I command every attention upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every attention upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Because this written, my spirit will wash over it to fulfill it. Therefore, I command every attention. Upon those prayers have been said all my life, and they are not finding movement yet. I command every attention upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, this prayer is very important. I didn't plan this one. God just told me now. There is no only concern about the future in the years that is to come. It's as well concerned about the prayer that we have prayed in the past. And it's not finding movement because they are not done in covenant agreement with the words that said. But now you can go to the past because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, is the same today, and the same forevermore. The past you cannot reach, he can reach it because it's the same yesterday. Within past, present, future has no difference. And within light and darkness have no difference. He is in the light, go to the dark, you will see him there. Come to the, 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 the light, you see. I'm saying, you see, dwell in the light, no man can approach. And yet, cover himself with thick darkness that you cannot see through. It's God. Darkness and light are the same before him. So, if you have prayed any prayer in the past for yourself, for your children, for your family, or somebody have declared your, your you before, and there are prophecy, there are word of statement, word of prophecy, or word of knowledge that have gone in the past, in the, in the past and you have keen to them, and you have said, That is for me. Oh, a man of God just pray a prayer and he said this and this, and you say, That is for me. Or a prayer just answer. Many times we pray like this, somebody will say, Pastor, those prayers are for me. It's like you knew what we are passing through, and you, those prayers we pray today, they are all for me. Many times that's happened like that. Many times. I remember sometimes we pray, many times, I can't even remember many, that we just say, That prayer we pray today is for me. There's hardly any meeting that we don't see that. Many, many meetings. That has happened in the past. But the truth or the matter, though they are for you, but have you experienced them? Though you said they are for you, you've been to different camps, and there are many prayers that. Fulfilled because it is said today, today, and forever. What is said today is today, and it's. Every prayer I've ever agreed to, 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 every covenant word I've ever agreed to, every pronouncement I've ever agreed to, even 20 days this year, 20 days of which we I agree to prayers, all of them that are still dragging on, that are still dragging leg, all of them that have been delayed, I have pushed them. And I command every attention upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every attention upon those prayers that say in the mighty name of Jesus. 
either in my own life, life of my family, life of the children, in any form, in any way, and I've agreed to them in prayer. I command every attention upon them to begin to be set to feel now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command and I declare that begin to be set to feel now because I say it to them again in the covenant agreement with Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Because in Him are ye and amen. In Him the promises are amen and amen. Therefore, I declare heaven attentions upon every prayer that not fulfilled yet. That we will be now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. There are many prayers we can have to pray. We will do them as the year comes in. God said, Lord, for us in store this day. And this day, day. But this morning, please remember, you are joining me this morning to pray for the Lord, to pray and ask the Lord to guide us us in the coming year. Just this morning, by 5 a.m. Don't forget just and uh, from there we pick it up again, trusting God for the new year, and that amen we make a different impact amen. in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say yourself, amen, we make a different impact in my life amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. When I say amen for nine spot, it shall be a covenant agreement with God, and they won't say it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I that my sin for myself in prayer. Or my responding to a prayer, when I say my nine thoughts, it will be a covenant agreement between me and God, between God and me, and the person saying it in the mighty name of Jesus, and by speaking, amen shall have a lasting impact, a permanent impact, a fruitful impact, a godly impact, an effective impact in my life and family in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen. Say a big amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. Say amen again. Amen. Say it again. Amen. Say it again. Amen. Say it again. Amen. And for the last time, say amen again. Amen. amen. Thank you, Father. Amen is my father. Amen is my son. We tell me how to be treated in prayer. Amen, he is my God. Whenever I say amen, in the name of our name, demonstrate and God is glorified. Amen, he is my stay. Father, we declare the family that I stay this year. Not only in the name, the duty day that I remain this year, but in the year 2022, we declare as a host. A host as a family, a host of God, a praying parent. We declare in the name of our captain, the one that doesn't lose a war. We declare his name in the mighty name of Jesus. That amen shall so stay in the mighty name of Jesus. For nine words, into the covenant agreement with Jesus Christ, in his name, in his blood, and with his father, the God and the Father of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of his son and one another in the mighty name of Jesus. Thanks for when I bless you, or when you bless me, when I say amen to your prayer, when you say amen to my prayer, it is certain it is done in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Every man for nine spot has spoken, brother of Jesus Christ, a covenanted brother of Jesus Christ, a city brother of Jesus Christ, and they shall find themselves uh, the, the expression. And we will face self fulfill in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because it's written, what are written, I have written. This written, I have blessed, and it cannot be reversed. Once this amen, once we say amen this year, for nine spots in the year 2022 and for the rest of our life, once we say amen, it cannot be reversed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be your name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. amen and amen. When I say when we pray at time on, the, on our page, and we say amen and amen, we are already repeating Jesus' name and still the prayer. Because in him, God's promises, God's covenant, God's idea, God's blessing, everything that is in God the Father, in him they are amen and amen. Yea and amen. 
And for now, to be different in our life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you with this understanding. May your spirit get it. Amen. May your soul be enriched with it. Amen. And may your body be blessed by it. Amen. And so for your children Amen. and for your family Amen. and for every of your loved one. Amen. And for this family of faith in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We take our family song. I'm so glad I'm a part of this family, family of God. Strong as day, I as Solomon, joined here with Jesus. Heaven home abandoned. I'm so glad with this family. Family of God. In anticipation of a year of a year of Amen, what do we say? Amen is my father. Amen is my son. With Amen have a victory in prayer. Amen is my soul. Whenever I say Amen, in the name above all name. Demons tremble and God is glorified. Amen is my state. And so shall it be from ninth fourth. And they come here in Jesus' name. Yes, in the year of grace, what do we say? I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. Sorry for the network. I believe they will join and participate very well. God bless you. And for those that couldn't join us, please join us. We hope to improve as you go. Thank God. Keep praying for Nigeria. And we are trusting God as we pray. And we say amen. We will see results in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. May God shine a face upon you. Amen. Be gracious to you. Amen. Save me to understand it now. Save me to understand it now. May God put his name upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. May God lift up the curtain upon you. And give you peace. Amen. May God put his name on your children and bless them. Amen. And may God do his will in your life. May the grace of Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of his Father, Amen. and the communion of his Spirit Amen. be with you, Amen. be with me, Amen. with our family Amen. for the rest of the year Amen. and the new year in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The same God that kept us in the year of grace, that same God much more will do for us in the year of Amen, Jesus' mighty name. Amen. But this morning, give me a seat by 5 a.m. May you have strength to join us Amen. and grace to participate in it. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, our Father. You. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say good amen. amen. God bless you. The meeting is over. Amen. amen is my power. Amen is my song. With amen, I got victory in prayer. Amen is my